two on your Tuesday and we're on top of breaking news. One person's dead, another one injured after a shooting in unincorporated DeKalb County. CBS 46's Daniel Wilkerson is live near Covington Highway with the very latest on this. Daniel. Good morning. As we reported before, both men were shot inside the Enclave Apartments here inside an apartment, according to police. All new for you here at 6 a.m. I just took a walk up to a Texaco right up the street, just feet from where I am right now. A clerk inside told me that one of the men came to his station for help. He said that man got down on the floor. It was obvious that he was suffering from a gunshot wound. He said the man asked him to call police. Also, the clerk tells me that they have not yet been able to release any of the surveillance footage, not even to police just yet. They're waiting for a manager to come in. But take a look. As I mentioned, both men were shot at the uh, inside this apartment complex, the Enclave Apartments in unincorporated DeKalb County. Uh, we're told the man, one of them went to that gas station, but they said after that police were called back to the apartment complex where they discovered a second man had been shot. Unfortunately, that man did not survive. He was dead on the scene. Police right now say that they want that surveillance footage from the Texaco to determine just what kind of role this second man, the man who ran to the Texaco, what kind of role he played in all of this. Uh, they have confirmed to us uh, that the man who died, the one they found dead, that he lived in this apartment complex. No word on whether the second man lived in this apartment complex. As I mentioned, police want that surveillance footage back out here live. You're taking a live look again at the Enclave Apartments on Covington Highway here in unincorporated uh, DeKalb County. Again, this is where two men were shot. One is dead. I'll have another live update for you coming up at the end of the hour. We're live this morning in DeKalb County. Daniel Wilkerson, CBS 46 News. All right, Daniel, thanks so much.